Hey everyone, Amy McMillan, Vestibular Physical Therapist from Northeast Ohio here. I want to bring you a video today discussing the difference between PPPD or Persistent Postural Perceptual Dizziness and BPPV. BPPV, that's a mouthful, Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo. So I was inspired to do a video uh, about this because of a Facebook post. There was a client that went to a physician and the um, client said, I have PPPD based on kind of the diagnostic criteria from what I understand. And the clinician said, there is no such thing as PPPD. I think what you are referring to is BPPV, the crystals in the inner ear causing the vertigo. So I just wanted to do a video of exactly what triple PD is, the diagnostic criteria. And if you do go to a physician or wondering if you have it, you can say it does exist. Here are the symptoms. Here are the criteria. Go ahead and watch this video for reference. Now, how do we treat? So let me take a minute to share my screen. Hopefully that will work easily. And we're going to share. Okay. So what you'll see here, um, it is from 2017, so it's, it's actually a bit dated. Um, so we do know that PPVD ex, um, exists. Um, there's 30 years of research on it, but recently the World Health Organization actually gave it an ICD-10 uh, code, which means there's diagnostic criteria and it's accepted by the medical community. So um, triple PD is something that's non-vertiginous. Um, it's classified as almost space and motion discomfort, where we're finding that people have a reliance on the visual system versus the vestibular or the somatosensory or touch system for their balance. And what that um, presents as is a rather constant, non-spinning dizzy, um, may be described as unsteadiness, uh, present on most days, and typically three months or more of those symptoms persisting. Uh, typically, there is a true vestibular insult that occurs prior to this developing. So maybe you did have a BPPV, the ear crystals, um, as you're initiating uh, insult or accident, or maybe vestibular migraine, or even whiplash, something that caused a true vertigo. And then the brain can't let go of that, that vertigo, that trauma. And now we have chronic persistent dizziness. Um, it is exacerbated by being upright and almost gone if you are seated or laying down. And that's a little different from mal de debarkment, where that is a rocking sensation that is better with moving and upright and worse when you are still. So that's a little difference between a, a, another condition. Um, also, your non-spinning dizziness would be exacerbated by either you moving around or if you're in a visually busy environment. So think casinos, airports, Costco, um, sitting at a red light and having traffic move past you. So if you are having a non-spinning dizzy and that is being exacerbated or provoked by your visual stimuli moving around you and it's been longer than three months in duration, you may have PPPD. Um, what else to say here? Um, yes, we are still trying to identify exactly who gets triple PD and who doesn't. Um, but basically it is a difference in how a person's brain comprehends the balance centers and comprehends the information coming into you. So we call it a multi-sensory processing issue where the brain doesn't know whether we should count on the eyes if they're giving good information, we should count on the ear or we should count on the feet. It is the uh, most common cause of chronic dizziness. That goes back to 1870, which is a long time uh, for people to still not recognize that this disease exists. Um, let's see, I will say, we'll scroll down here. What else can we pull from this? Also described as visual vertigo often or chronic subjective dizziness is what it was called. Um, 
just recently is 2004 prior to this. So, ah, here's a good, here's a good part, diagnostic criteria that we can boom, 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 kind of list right through. Um, so one or more symptoms of dizziness, unsteadiness, or non-spinning vertigo present on days or three months or more, present on most days for three months or more. So I did have um, someone mention, oh, I think I have triple PD. I had BPPV uh, two weeks ago, and now I have this kind of constant dizziness in between. And I just caution them to say, um, maybe we still don't have the crystals completely out of the ear, or maybe you have another underlying type of dizziness, like from the neck, um, but it actually has to be present for three months or more to be labeled uh, PPPD. Um, these symptoms are more long lasting. So there are other conditions like a hypofunction or PP, excuse me, BPPV that are seconds in duration. Um, so these symptoms tend to be more uh, constant, hours long, and vague, as opposed to room spinning and seconds long. So that's a, another differentiation. Uh, we already did discuss that there's three factors um, to add into the criteria, meaning it's worse when you're upright, it's worse when you are moving around your environment, or worse when your environment is moving around you. So um, if I were to move a ton in this video, for example, your eyes would say, oh, I see something moving. Am I moving? Um, so being exposed to something visually stimulating is another criteria. Get a lot of people uh, who can't stand Costco or Target and they get their dizziness or weak in the legs um, from going into those big box stores. We already discussed that this disorder is precipitated by something that causes a true vertigo. So we wanna know something in your history that actually did cause it. It is ruled, um, the other criteria, everything else is ruled out. So that's unfortunate. It does take a long time for the diagnosis to occur because we wanna make sure that we do an MRI, um, that we're not missing anything, x-rays of the neck. So it is ruled in by ruling everything else out, which also puts your mind at ease when you rule everything else out. And I know I personally never feel comfortable uh, giving someone a PPPD diagnosis unless we did go through a VNG, an MRI, an MRA to look at the arteries. If everything is healthy, then I feel comfortable. Um, as far as everything else, it's repeating. Um, so we know it's worse upright. We know it's worse with active motion. We know it's worse with visual stimuli. It is present for three months or longer, and it is non-spinning in duration, everything else ruled out. So when you do go to your physician and say, I think I have PPPD, um, neurologist probably would be a better bet on who might um, acknowledge and understand triple PD, uh, neurootologists specifically. So that's a neuro, um, neurologist who specializes in dizziness. So if you are looking for providers, that might be a great route to go. And as far as treatment, um, I want you to maybe take a look at my playlist. I'll link that right up here, all about overcoming uh, triple PD. I hope to have a lot more uh, videos for you in the future. But the main point is you are going to need um, a three-pronged approach, which would include vestibular therapy with a trained professional, cognitive behavioral therapy to kind of talk through the anxiety of what you're going through and how you can modify your behaviors to tamp down your nervous system from being so hypervigilant, um, receiving everything in your environment as a threat. And then thirdly, medication, which would be SSRIs and SNRIs are the most appropriate medicative um, relief that you can get for triple PD. Not everyone needs medication, um, but that is one of the three-pronged approach into successful treatment of triple PD. So hopefully this video um, was helpful in when you're dealing with other providers, maybe you're educating, maybe you're not sure if you have triple PD, but go ahead and save this video. Um, so if you do uh, come across a provider that you can advocate for yourself and say it does exist, 
It is not BPPV, the crystals in the ear, which is a completely different presentation. So until I see you next week, stay healthy, stay strong, and stay steady.